What are you saying, family? Javen here, back for another episode. You know it is another little show, another little video for you to come on. Doing them quicker, thicker and fast. And by the way, guys, ignore the face. I'm mad tired and I had a little nap just a minute, uh, a minute ago. And I was, I was saying, do you know what? I'll just do it tomorrow. But I was like, you know what? No, no, it's wrong. It's the wrong habit to get into, you know, just pushing things back. It's, it's not a good habit. Like, like I used to, I used to be one, um, I used to be one that skips, skips, um, skip the gym here and there. Um, and nowadays I don't even skip the gym. I don't do it. Cause now the moment I feel like, I feel like I'm skipping, I actually feel guilty. Like I literally feel like I've, I've, um, I've done a crime. Do you know what I mean? And it, that's, that's literally the habit you want to get into. So I'm dragging my, my, my ugly muck here, you know, just to, just cause, just to make sure that you have got, you have got to show up. Even if it means it's not, cause it's, even though, even if it's not me being re released the same day, it doesn't matter. The habit of, you said you're going to film, you film, you do what you say you're going to do. You know, well that's 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 it. That's a bit of advice advice before I get into it, guys. Always do what, as much as possible when you say you do. You have to be perfect, but try and do it more often than not. Because a lot of people have it the other way around, and that's not good. It's not good. It's not good at all. But anyway, guys. Um, and guys, um, hope you like the, 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 the before I get onto this. Hope you like the last video about I did a little um, video on um, why they don't support you. Um, guys, let me know if you liked the video in the comments um, below. And to tell me how you thought about that video, I thought it was very good. Um, uh, hopefully, it gets more views because that's that's a show that, that was quite important to me. I thought people to understand that um, why you should why you should keep going and do it even if you're not getting support from people you know, because you know that's 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 that's, that's I think that's important for you guys to be, to be aware of to why why you get this. A lot of people don't understand why they're not getting it. Um, I I don't on the on the surface and understandably why people make that mistake but watch that video and you get some ideas as to why it can happen i didn't go i didn't cover every angle but i covered some things and also i'll probably do another similar video at some point down the line on on on, on, on that on that um, um, area but anyway guys um, um like the video please subscribe for new round here um i am excited i'm even i'm tired i'm excited you know well i say i'm excited but we're going to talk about i'm excited but i'm also cons i'm also a bit um I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm slightly worried. But at the same time, I'm not, and I, and I am at the same time, because my favorite ever, ever boxer, Mike Tyson, is um, fighting professionally for the first time in 19, 19 years. So basically, for you guys that are literally living under the rock. Um, and even even like Mike Tyson um, is is fighting Jake Paul on the twentieth of July, and that's gonna be actually that's gonna be done on Netflix. I think it's the it's like the first time it's probably ever that, that ever happened. But at first, so people have been commenting now. The reason why I'm doing this video because even though that's been announced a while ago now, the reason why I'm covering this because it's actually been sanctioned as a professional fight, and that's why I was like, what? So we, we I think we was all under this um, under the impression or illusion or the impression we was given was that it was an exhibition. You know how this. Because Mike Tyson did a fight against um, Roy Jones Jr., who's obviously a similar age, same generation, same generation to him, because um, there, there's there's three years apart from from them two. And back in um, November twenty twenty, when we was on like um, the, the pandemic, um, so um, Mike Tyson's born in nineteen sixty six, um, and Roy Jones is born uh, Jr. is born in nineteen sixty nine. So there's like a three year there's a three year um, uh, age difference, the same generation. So that fight happened, and they're both ex, ex pros having an exhibition fight. But then, um, but then what happens is now is Mike Tyson's now got enough to Jake Paul. Now people think it's a joke. People say, "Oh, it's about the money." Of course, there's money involved. But then people, I think, there's an element of intrigue. There's an element of intrigue um, because they're thinking, "Well, people would people want to see Jake Paul." This YouTube landscape and mixing with, with um, pro boxers or ex pro boxers, it's been a thing in the last few in the last few years. We did, we did the Mayweather with who was it? Was it Logan Paul? Um, uh, was it Logan Paul? Yeah, thanks. So. Um, guys, remind me if I'm talking rubbish because I know maybe we did something. Um, we've had we've had we've had we, what we've had now. We've had a mixture of. MMA um, uh, um, fighters moving into the boxing um, area 
Um, we've had the McGregor and uh, Mayweather fight back in 2017. That was a professional fight, and now we've got the YouTuber people that are now doing boxing and now they're fighting. We had Tommy Fury versus. Um, uh, Actually, that's not fair because KSI is actually now, I think he's now actually, he's actually a, a pro licensed boxer now. But he started off on YouTube and now obviously he's a big name and everything. He's drawing, he's drawing a lot of fans. The reason why this fight is significant now, because Mike Tyson is, um, he's 60 in two years time. He's, he's 58 um, 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 on the 5th of June. And Jake Paul's like, what is he, 27, 28? Or is, yeah? Was going to be 28 if he's not 28 already. So he's a young man compared to Mike Tyson, even though he's a, everyone knows who he is. The, he's, a, he's a heavyweight legend, right? And they think, and then the thing is, so let me just talk about this. So Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul's sanctioned a professional boxing match and rules announced. Um, it takes place on the 20th of July in um, Arlington, Texas, but, but concerns have been raised for the health of both fighters. So It'll, 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 it means it will appear on the official um, rec um, records, but will be shorter than most pro So it'll be shorter, so okay, so the caveat is it'll be shorter than most pro fights, taking place over two eight minute rounds. No, sorry, I mean, my bad. Over eight two minute rounds. The gloves will be more padded, will also be more padded at 14 ounces rather than 10 ounces normally used. There has been speculation over the rules of the fight and whether it, it could, it would just be an exhibition match given the age gap between 57-year-old um, Tyson and Paul, 27. Some have also raised health concerns with Roy's Tyson's punching power could seriously injure his less experienced um, opponent. Um, the trade, obviously, so I follow Mike on Instagram. Training videos have shown the US fighter pounding the punch bag with his trademark ferocity. However, others have questioned his fitness and believe Tyson could be hurt given the exertions of fighting a much younger man. The fight was announced last month and takes place on the 20th of July in Arlington. Netflix, um, Netflix is streaming it live. So promoters had been working with the Texas licensing authorities to get it signed off as an official match. Um, YouTuber Jake Paul made his pro debut in 2020 and has beaten former UFC champions Anderson Silva and Nate Diaz under boxing rules. Um, his one loss came against England's Tommy Fury in February, in February 2023, which is only last year. Um, Tyson, meanwhile, is a boxing legend and became the youngest heavyweight um, champion at age 20 back in 1986. His last professional fight was a defeat in 2005, but he fought an exhibition against fellow legend Roy Jones Jr. in 2020 with the bout end up in a draw, which I just mentioned. So, Mike Tyson's fight in the, his first pro fight um, um, in ni uh, 19 years, wow. I know they say that obviously George Foreman came back, but that was, he, he was in his 40s then. So he, when he became the world's heavy, oldest heavyweight champion in his 40s, he took a 10 year, 10 year gap out of the ring and he came back and he retired back in 1997. Um, but Mike, he's pushing 60. Now, the key is, ah, this is interesting. I just hope that no one gets seriously hurt. Yeah, I do. That's Jake Paul as well. I'm not, I'm not, do I care about Jake Paul like that? No. Not in a horrible way. I just don't, I just don't really rock with him. Not because I just, I just don't have interest in him. Generally, I don't, I'm just going to pay attention to him. But um, my, Mike Tyson, like obviously he's PC. He, this is his craft and he's my favorite um, fighter ever. And I don't want him to get hurt. Now, I personally think that Mike Tyson will actually win. And they, they reference his punching power. You can still talk his punching power, but his speed, even though he's still, he's still very fast, he's not an average person, he's faster than people in his 20s. He's still not as fast as he was back in his heydays, so obviously at like the 80s, which, which was his which peak. And even in the 90s, when he was, on his, 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 he was on his decline, he's still not as fast as then. And even back in the early to mid 2000s, when he was still fighting, he, he, couldn't, he wouldn't be as fast, but then again, He's obviously now taking his fitness more seriously. During the end of his back in his career, he wasn't taking his fitness as much seriously because he was just doing it for the money because he fell out of love. Now, it's interesting that he's doing doing this fight, and I don't know his reason. The, the, the money is there. That's one thing. Because the thing is, what's funny about this, yeah, and guys could comment. I don't know what it is. They say the money is there, but I thought that 
obviously he's, he went bankrupt and everything, he's built himself back up, he's doing all these um, business ventures, he has his podcast, hot boxing podcast, which is now unfortunately coming to an end, which is um, which is which is sad. Now I'm assuming he, he makes a lot of money from that what, that podcast. And he said, I remember he's, on, on his, he said that he's, gonna, he's entering a new chapter in his life. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if he means that, um, what, is he trying to, f is he, is he doing other ventures now as well on top of, or, or is he trying to, is he trying to fight regularly as a pro boxer again? Or what is he trying to do? Or is he, uh, what, 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 what is all that? Cause that podcast was cold, man. That podcast was cold. Um, that podcast was cold, so I don't know why he stopped doing that. And that, if that was bringing in money on YouTube, I don't know why that would stop, but who knows? Well, I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I always thought it was interesting with people that were famous that obviously a lot of people do it. It's, 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 it's an stream of income, right? Why not? But are they making money from like YouTube? Yeah. I mean, this this show does, uh, this channel doesn't make um, money from YouTube, but you know, that's another conversation. But you know what I mean? But he's obviously. They're gonna, they already got a reputation, so they they already known like that, yeah. But don't get worried, my face, my 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 face will be known one day. Don't worry, if it's, it's already known already, it's already recognized already. It'll be known like uh, uh, one day. But you know what I'm saying. But <clears throat> he's fighting, and I don't know. I just, guys, I do think we'll win. I just think with Jake Paul, naturally, he's so much younger, like his fitness. It's not, it's not just about being fit, it's just that you're just, your body is just more accustomed to go longer distances, you're younger. Um, Mike Tyson's obviously more skilled than him, for obvious reasons. He, punch, he, he punches harder than him, of course. But the only thing is, though, can he gas out, even if he is taking a train? I know he said he gave up, he's, he's not been doing, doing he's, he's been off the green stuff recently, off the weed. He's been, um, he's famous saying he's not been um, fornicating um, recently. He's not been busting any 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 um any 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 nuts recently, so obviously he's keeping that yeah he's keeping that in check. Like, like which, which, which is what actual boxers do, by the way. For people that probably don't know that they have to that boxing is like they, they say it's the most disciplined like um sport. It's the most disciplined sport of all. That's what they that's what that's what they did. They generally say that. So there's a lot of things you've got to be able to just not be doing. Now, obviously, I don't want. From a fan's point of view, and like, I'm excited to see like my favorite boxer say to the ring again, or, or like, you know, as, as, as a professional, because we're all nostalgic. I've been watching bare videos. I'm, I'm gonna lie, I'm a Tyson fanboy. Yeah, I'm a Tyson fanboy. Yeah, I'm gonna like, yeah, like, but at the same time, from a less selfish perspective, I don't want him to get hurt because the guy, because the guy is pushing sixty. His punch resistance is probably may not may not be what he used to. It's probably not what he used to be as well, and that's the and that's the dangerous of the sport. Yeah, I don't want him to end up in some serious trouble or that kind of stuff because that'd be horrible. Jake Paul, am I as worried about him? I'm concerned about him because of the the the, 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 the punches because he, he can still get hurt, but then he's obviously he's, he's, he's younger. So I, don't, I I generally don't know. I think a lot of people are saying it's all a lot of rubbish, but they're gonna be intrigued. So a lot of people are saying that they, they won't be surprised if Jake Paul wins. They won't be surprised if Mike Tyson wins. I think Mike Tyson will actually win. Now, I don't know how he will win, but I think he will win. They say it's a pro fight. I just hope there's no, I don't know. These these fights these days with like people cr even crossing over, YouTube and then, man, I don't know I wonder like, cause boxing has been, I can't lie, boxing has been a cross ball. It's been a cross ball even before all this like new phenomenon of mixed matches and all this stuff been happening yet. But then I don't, I don't know. I don't want them to be you know, fixing nothing. I want it to be genuine on, if it's a genuine professional fight, let it happen. If anything looks like it's dodgy, stop the fight for both fighters' um, health. That comes first at the end of the day. Yeah? But, do you know what I mean? But then... Yeah, like, it's exciting. Like, it's it's, 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 it's interesting. And Netflix, to be streaming it, so you ain't got to go on them... Um, for you guys, I know you guys at home, yeah, on them dodgy, them dodgy streams. Yeah? Netflix is, is... If Netflix is doing it, hopefully... Do you know what, hopefully that'll be a, 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 a more, a, another avenue for boxers to continue going that route. I mean, all these damn subscriptions, man. These TNT, TNT Sport, I've got that obviously, but Sky Sport package, pay this, man. I just know that it's giving me a reason to watch Netflix. I don't watch enough Netflix, well, the things I got time, I'll do other things, but I, you know, I don't watch that much Netflix, even though I pay for it on a monthly basis, but that in July, I'll be on there. Um, but yeah, um, Jake Paul, I just, my thing, let's go talk about Jake Paul for a bit more now, yeah? So he's beaten 
Nate Diaz and Common Pool have a guy I mean, as, as I mentioned, but if you're taking these professional fight, if you're, if you're serious about being a professional fighter, why are you fighting? Why are you always fight? Why are you always on this ex-pro boxers that have retired a long time ago, or someone that's just crossed over into the sport for the first time from a different martial arts discipline, or like, like what is wrong? But the thing is, you know what it is. I think you know what it is at the same time. I think it's the money, man, because they say like, once you got. I ain't got money like these people. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got any money. But once you got money, once you got money, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not. They say it's not fun being hit when you got money, and it's understandable. Like it's not fun. So for Jake Paul, he's doing all these other things. Why, why, why is he? Why does he want to take a, a higher risk? The ratio of risk to reward. Because at the end of the day. It's prize fighting. It's prize fighting. All this, all this kind of stuff. Because if you think, if you think about it generally, yeah, yes, you can, yes, there's legacy on the line. Yes, it's like it's the ego, the legacy. You can say that it's, it is a sport at the end of the day. I'm sure you want to be the best at your sport, yeah. But at the end of the day, this sport, I don't. This sport is not. This sport is has been proven many times. It's not designed for you to be in there forever. Like generally, obviously, no, no, nothing lasts forever. Not no sport lasts forever. But you know what I mean, man. Like people have, people have died in this ring. Unfortunately, like it's got to that level. People have been, people have like, if they don't die, they've had serious health complications later on in life. Um, because your head's not supposed to be hit. Your head's not supposed to be being hit, right? All these things. So all this money. So once you get your ring belts, after that you retire. Look at that. Lennox Lewis done this. He done this. He done this great. Like he, he retired as undisputed, and he's done his, and he's he done, his, and he's done his thing. You're not supposed to be. Constantly going around, there's always gonna be someone that's gonna want you. But this Jake Paul, if you're serious about going into this pool, you don't need them. It's not money. You're, 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 obviously, it's not money you desperately need. I mean, we we all need money, and it's always more. But it's like, can you find another avenue? Because you're coming here, you're not fighting like proper prof current professional boxers that are around your age group that actually practice. You're going for YouTubers or other YouTubers. Or it's one thing you start off in YouTube. That's fair enough. But after that, if you want to go fight current proper pro boxers. And it's ex-professional boxes that are way past that have retired a long time ago, yeah. Um, as yeah, and then it's flipping uh, MMA. We saw what happened to um, Ed Francis in Gone, who, by the way, rest in peace to his son, man. That's horrible, man. Ah, oh, it's horrible. He, I don't know, man. He just seems like see such a. I don't, I don't know him personally, but he just comes across like such a genuine guy. So that is awful. But well, we saw this awful what happened to him. So condolences to his 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 son that's that's, that's died, man. It's, oh, it's awful. That guy's been so that guy's been so much through so much. Like, I hope there's like I don't know if there's already if there's already, but they need to make a documentary on him, man, because that guy's been through so much rubbish. That's why he's so. I don't want to be off topic, yeah, but that guy is like the epitome of keep going, man. Like he's the epitome of keep going. Like this guy's been homeless. This guy's been going. He's been going through all kind of craziness. And that's why he's he's his mentality. You gotta respect him, man. You have to respect him. You have to respect him. He'll do it. it are. But obviously, I think the Tyson Fury fight made him look a bit better than what he was. But I don't mind. He's still done very well. And I still think he should still do box do do boxing. But when he came up Anthony Joshua, he said, okay, so it made okay. He's not maybe as good yet as we probably thought he was. He he was. But he should still go in and he'll still see what he does. And he should still keep going, but yeah, condolences to to him and his fan and and, and the rest of his family. That's what's awful. But yeah, my point where what I was going with that was that yeah, man, this Jake Paul man, I'm going to start fighting some pro proper pro boxers, man. Uh, yeah, and obviously Mike Tyson, I'm not trying to see you lose to him as well, man. I'm not trying to see you. I, don't, I just don't want another L on your record, man. Like because your last few fights. Like Danny Williams, also Kevin McBride, and then the year before, like 2004, um, uh, Danny Williams, and then obviously 2002, Lennox Lewis. I know in 2003 you won, that's the last fight. His last pro win was in 2003. And then, yeah, so, and obviously that was back in those two having all these issues, but obviously he's in a better place now, so I just wanted to sort of win. And by the way, isn't it? Even if, this is the thing, even if Jake Paul wins, I don't think people are going to be a mad applauding. I think there'll be so much mixed reactions. I think people will be saying, oh, well, you beat a much older guy who's way past his best. 
And then there'll be people that are saying, well, yeah, we're still getting more from Tyson, even though he's like, hey, how good he was and blah, blah, blah. And my Tyson wins, they'll be like, well, he's, he, he, he was one of the best player on the planet for a reason. The way he moves, he's, he's still, he can still do some damage. I don't know. But it's exciting, it's, 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 it's interesting to see. Um, guys, what do you think of, what do you think of this fight? Are you for it? Are you against it? Um, leave your leave your opinions in the comments below. I will I will answer all of, uh, as much um, all of them. Um, I do my best to answer all of them, which I do. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see it. But yeah, man, this is this, this is just a dream come true for me, man, just to see him do. But then, yeah, man, he's telling you about these boxes. It's like these boxes, like they can never fully leave, can they? Yeah? They can never just fully leave that behind, man. They have to. Don't know. It's like it's in them, man. I'm. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, what I've noticed, what, I, what I've noticed with, with, with boxing, yeah, um, it's just that once, once, like when you start off, you're hungry, and it's, it's normally because it's be honest, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a working class sport, man. Like you start from nothing, generally, you go through the trenches, you got you're fighting for something, you're fighting to put money on the table. Uh, when, you, when you get to a certain level, and then you, that comes in, after that you win a few belts, and then after that you, it's not fun. You, it's not fun getting hit anymore. It's not fun doing all this stuff now, man. It's <laughs> I'm telling you, I think boxing is dangerous. But they, they, boxing is very good psychologically for your discipline. But after you get into it, yeah, it's it's got. I think it's one of the ones where it's so toxic to oneself. Like you don't want to fully leave it. You do leave. You got the money. Now you don't. You don't take it serious anymore. I don't know. At the same time, it was. It's like it's one of those sports that started off with very good intentions, built you up, and at the same time, can just finish you. Like, it does a whole, like, full circle on you, man. That's what I noticed with a lot of fighters, man. Like, it, it gets you in and chews you and switches you back out, man. But, yeah, guys, um, like, the, like the video, please. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, yeah, and yeah, engage with it, man. Um, yeah, um, on to the next video. Catch you another time, man. Later.